welcome guys to the fourth tutorial of the flutter news app and so far what we have done is we have hard coded the categories and we have displayed the images and they are scrolling pretty nice and neat so we will get right into it without a further ado let's fetch the json response first so now before we were getting images that we knew what images we needed and now like we are getting like so many images from internet so we cannot just hard code the text and everything right so what we will do is we will create a new file news data and i will name this class news we are creating a class and inside it we will create a method so first of all we need a list okay first of all we need a constructor yeah so i'll just go to the model and here we will define the variables of the data that we are going to fetch news model we can call it article model what do we need we need title we need description we need url we need url to image that has our image and we need i think that's all we need i think we don't need much okay i'll create a alt insert named constructor so that's all we need and what i'll do here is go back to my yeah creating a new list fetching the data and adding the data in this list import i can do news model news model okay okay yeah article model data to be saved in so we have taken this list and now what we will do is we will create a method So we will create and also we will import another package which is HTTP because I had already defined it in our in our pub pub spec file pubg <laughs> okay so we can say get news async because this takes some time to fetch the data and we remove this so what we have done here is we have created one list and we are going to save this can be done two ways response response or direct variable name response await get so here we will paste our uh, api api key and the link i will maybe i can just show you right now from where did i get it yeah so you can get this uh, let me just uh, if we go in here this is the website oh sorry this is the json response so you have to sign up on this website in order to get your api key and uh, yeah you have to read the documentation if you have no idea how to read the documentation on what are apis then i think you better should like learn that first before you come here so i assume if you are here already then i i assume that you already know uh how what is this like this is an api key these are some endpoints this is the main link or stuff you know so i can just add that semicolon there and another variable called 
json data and what we will do here is we will json decode and response dot body so we are whatever the response that we are getting we are converting it into json okay now what's the next step so i'll show you the json response how it looks like so you know we can uh, understand it better json formatter just to show you process so here we have it these keys the title has the title the description has the description url of the image is here so make sure whenever you have created that model the spellings must match otherwise you will not be able to the keys of the json response and the variable in your model must have the same spelling otherwise you will not be able to fetch the data okay that's done i'll just come back in here and show you so i'll just close this okay this is so much okay so inside the articles article has i think we call it object or an array has all these keys that we need so it's not directly defined here article has an object on array that we have to access first so json data right now is fetching articles but we have to go in the go in the articles right so how do we do that so first of all we will just create some uh, conditions if json data status is okay we create this to avoid null point exceptions you know sometime your internet is working sometime api is dead so you know what will you do your app will crash so here you will it will make sure that to check if status is okay then only display so what are we doing here yeah then json data articles for each will pass uh, element this is a dynamic yeah so dynamic dynamic variable so article has all that what we need right so another condition that we will add is if json if element now whatever that we are getting from articles we are storing in elements if article url to image because sometime url of the image is not provided so if it's not provided then our app will crash and element description is not null then only proceed so now we will initialize our model class and we will save all this data into our model class because our model class has a constructor that we have made here so we can just attach that data to it okay so let's just get right into it okay uh, article model let's see if i have imported this or not yes i have article model article model this is the constructor and in here title is equal to element title because element has all the keys that are inside here and url to image
URL to image description element description and lastly we have is URL element URL so lastly what we have done is we have created a model and this model will be saved into add article model so this is done we we have now we can like successfully you know fetch the json response <coughs> so that's great now what i will do is also right away since we are added let me look at the time of this tutorial yeah i think we'll take only five minutes if i do this or uh, yeah so like like this is the response that we are getting for top headlines okay what if we want to search the news by categories i will work on that method right away because it's really similar is i will just close this and copy this And create another class name it as category news this we will use later but I'm just doing it ahead of time so here I can pass category and here what we need is category and category and add yep that's perfect and category is equals to because we are passing a string so if we don't add the dollar sign then it cannot differentiate between it so let's just leave this for now so we have done this for future fetching news by category okay so we we will work with this first and then we will come to this later so this is done what i have done i will just repeat myself is that i have created a list here we will save json data inside this similarly when we were calling the whatever data was present in the list of category we were displaying it now this is in this position that we are getting the data from the internet from the server and we are saving it here the reason we are using async because you know it takes time to get that data and this is await await word is helping us to uh, you know like first of all the data will be fetched first and then it will be displayed to us so and then we are storing the keys of article into element and then we are taking our model class and we are adding those keys into our variables and lastly we are adding that model into our list so that's done and i will see you in the next one where we will display this on our screen hopefully thank you for watching see you